If there's one thing that this week's Double Money Tow Truck Missions has taught me, it's how much I utterly despise driving in GTA Online. Whenever I get behind the wheel of anything in GTA, I always say the same thing. Is it just me or does the NPC aggressiveness when you're driving seem to have increased? I mean, it literally feels worse each and every time I have to drive in GTA. Now, I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority here, but my main mode of transportation in this game is the Mark II, and I'm not a griefer, a money grinder. And if you're a money grinder, the Mark II is your best friend. But even if they took the Mark II away tomorrow, I would not drive in this game. I'd use a buzzard, the F-160, hell, I'd even use a cargo bob before I drive the roads in Los Santos. Yes, I find driving that bad. Now, I do understand that Rockstar needs to implement many different traffic scenarios in order for the game to feel challenging. I mean, you can't have an incredibly decreased traffic environment without everyone driving around like Grandma Mabel. It wouldn't be fun. But all I'm asking for and praying that GTA 6 offers and delivers on is a more realistic driving environment. And I know why Rockstar does this. It's another method they use to lengthen your in-game experience. They want you playing their game for as long as possible. And what better way to do this than implement adversarial traffic conditions that impede or slow down your gameplay. But some of the stuff is just, well, it's unrealistic. It's so lopsided and unintentional that it makes it feel arcade-ish and not real. And the funny thing is, I think if Rockstar implemented a more realistic traffic environment, they would still achieve their in-game lengthener because everyone in GTA drives like a maniac anyway. I mean, nobody stops at red lights, we're speeding all the time. I think there would be just as many accidents no matter how realistic the environment is or was. Okay, so there's four huge tactics Rockstar uses when you're driving that drive me, <laughs> pun intended, crazy. Crazy. The first is the acceleration and deacceleration that Rockstar uses to match your vehicle speed. You see this all the time. There'll be a slower moving vehicle in front of you and then defying all the laws of physics and reality, that same slow vehicle will instantaneously accelerate to your speed. This is done for several reasons. The vehicle speeds up to run into you, block you, or just cause general chaos. It's very annoying and again, not very realistic. All right, so this is a perfect example. So I'm doing my bike deliveries and I make a U-turn here. And as I come around, if I pause it right here, you'll notice a big tractor trailer truck, a white one, that stopped at the stoplights here. It stopped. So as I move this forward, it suddenly <laughs> takes off with incredible speed, which is unrealistic. A truck that big does not accelerate that fast. And watch as it keeps going past the intersection. And as soon as it gets past the intersection when I'm behind it, then it'll slow down. Speed up, and then it slows down. <sighs> so in this next example, this is part of the agency. I believe this is the party that you have to go and break up and then you steal a supercar. You have to follow the helicopter. As I come around the corner, you'll notice right here, there's a white SUV. It just turned onto the road that I'm traveling on. Okay, this is like, this is an SUV that's much heavier than my supercar. And it just pulled onto the road. So it's basically going from a stop and it's turning and it's coming onto the same road as I am, okay? Now I'm gaining speed here. Just watch how fast this SUV picks up speed. I'll play it, he turned the corner and already look how fast I'm going. It's doing the same speed as me in a matter of what? A couple seconds? It's unrealistic. The second is not really a vehicle tactic, but a rules of the road tactic. Have you ever paid attention to how many red lights you encounter while you're driving? I'm guessing probably not. As I said earlier, everyone, including myself, drives like a maniac in this game and we all tend to run red lights. But next time you get a chance, try driving around town where there are a lot of traffic lights. Chances are an extremely high percentage of those lights will be red. Again, for reasons already explained, this is Rockstar's way of impeding or slowing you down. Not because of the red lights being red, Rockstar already knows you're going to run those, but because it gives them a legitimate reason to send cross traffic through the intersection to slow you down. Now, I don't know what the stats are, but it has to be north of 90%. The third tactic is incredibly frustrating. This is when an oncoming vehicle or a vehicle entering your roadway from either direction turns in front of you. 
and then stops. Just watch these two videos here and you'll know exactly what I mean. Everyone has, I'm sure, been through this. It's the most unrealistic traffic action that Rockstar designed in. It simply makes no sense. I don't care what country you live in or what laws you may have, but turning in front of an oncoming vehicle and then stopping is not legal. It's not sane and it's not realistic. Okay, the fourth and final tactic is similar to the last. Again, we've all seen this. You'll be minding your own business driving down the road when you spot them. They're already stopped and waiting to turn, but they don't. They wait for just the right moment when you get closer to all of a sudden punch the gas and turn right in front of you. Nobody does this, Rockstar. Unless you're physically blind or suffering from a major convulsion attack, nobody intentionally turns their vehicle into oncoming traffic. And to further drive home my point, no pun intended, I've saved the best for last. This little clip is why I decided to make this video. You can see here that I'm driving very carefully. I'm delivering a car for my auto shop, so obviously I'm taking my time and making sure I don't crash into anything. We've all seen this corner and what usually happens when we turn into it, but this one takes the cake. As soon as I make that corner, a vehicle turns in front of me. But because I'm going slower than, well, normal, the action of the vehicle becomes way more enhanced and ridiculous. This is why I hate driving in GTA. This is not normal. It completely takes away from the otherwise beauty of the game. All right, so that's it, my friends. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to help out, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and let me know what you think. Are there any of you out there who actually enjoy driving around in GTA? Are you okay with how Rockstar has ramped up the NPC aggressiveness in this game? If so, drop a comment below and let everyone know. Until next time, be happy and you'll be safe. Thank you, people. One, two, maestro.